So once again, Woodstick Wednesday is on Thursday. <laughs> um, this week's just been mad. Um, I'm gonna uh, apologies. <laughs> so that, that's it. Um, here it is. It's Woodstick Wednesday. Um, so I've got a stick today to show you, which uh, I'm pretty sure I've never featured one of these before on Woodstick Wednesday, um, even though it's Thursday. Um, it's a Lancer. Okay, so um, there's the Lancer products um cornwall ontario and i guess that is the zip code for cornwall i guess so um something that kind of strikes me so i do i do have one of these which has been um uh reconditioned at home and it's a fantastic stick really really nice um the these lancer sticks they've just got really really long skinny heads really long now i think i think i'm right in saying that lancer um started making sticks kind of like late 60s early 70s that's kind of around that period um, i could be wrong um and just to kind of show you just how long and skinny this head is um i'm gonna go for um this has been my go-to stick by the way for when customers have come in recently and they're trying out a stick um this is a Awesome William stick with traditional pocket. Really, really nice stick, this. But um, might talk about this another time. I mean, if I've not already talked about it before in another video, we might just do it again because it's awesome. Um, but you can see here just how much longer this Lancer is. I mean, it's really, really long. Um, any Lancers I've seen previously all kind of have this kind of like really long featured head as well. Um, so I'm I'm assuming this is pretty typical. I haven't seen any other Lancers out there that kind of look much different than this. And as I said, I don't really know too much about Lancer products. If you go and ask Uncle Google, um, Lancer products, all you come up with is makeup. And if you search, Lancer Products, Cornwall, Ontario, um, you still come up with makeup. Um, so it's clearly not makeup. Uh, my wife could not wear this on her face uh, or any other part of her body. Um, but, uh, you know, there must, there must be some information out there. Now, I am not the well of all knowledge about wooden sticks. I know a little bit here and there. I can show you some cool wooden sticks. But I would like to know um, what you guys know about Lancer products because I can't find anything online. Um, I've tried a couple of resources and there just doesn't seem to be an awful lot out there. Um, now, it's not that Lancer product sticks are kind of super rare. I've seen a few others for sale over the years. Um, can't actually remember where this one came from. Um, I've got a feeling I might have got this from Curtis Davis, perhaps, I think so. This might have been one that uh, Curtis has, um, uh, has given me. And, um, you know, it's, they're kind of nice sticks. You know, I, I, I don't dislike the shape of them. Yeah, it's nice to have a kind of shorter looking head. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of like quite a cool stick still. Um, definitely something that's, you know, if you collect sticks, it's cool to have in the collection. I think this one, I'm going to probably recondition this at some point. Um, po pockets, it, there's a broken leather here and kind of, there's a little bit of gut here. Um, so this bit of gut here, you, you kind of see this sometimes. So it's not a ball stop, okay? You see on a field stick, you get the ball stop strung over this bit here. So the, the kind of bit of gut to stop the ball jamming in. Um, Sometimes you see on, on box woodies uh, that you get the back side and it's, it's kind of, I can't really show you properly because this one's actually broken, but you get sometimes, not on all sticks by any means, but um, you get this kind of bit of gut here that the leathers are kind of fed through just to keep everything kind of tight here at the bottom here. And that does actually help prevent the ball kind of jamming in there. So if you've got your, imagine you've got a, a, a deeper, longer pocket. So I'm just looking here for this one. So let's, let's pick up, let's pick up this Williams again. Let's say, you know, you, you've still got that kind of area down there. I mean, this one does actually have it. Um, it's not kind of straight across, it's a bit more of an angle this, but 
it just kind of keeps the this bottom section here of leathers from kind of bagging out and the ball jamming in um just prevents it a little bit it still happens now and again but um you can see this one's a little bit roach so um i'm not gonna be able to rescue that so what i might do is just see how it's attached that is just a separate bit of gut so when i come to um to, to restring this the the gut is in great shape just needs straightening out a little bit it's a little bit bent in not too much it is pretty straight and um, so some broken leathers and the cross lace is not really going to be salvageable. So, oh, boot lace, if you like. Um, it is a stick prime for kind of cleaning up. Maybe just so there's a couple of like, they're not even cracks. There's kind of like very, very marginal kind of cracks here. So just sand those out a little bit. I'm sure it'll clean up really well. Um, so, yeah. If you uh, collect one six, keep your eyes peeled for a Lancer and add a Lancer to your collection. Um, this is going to look completely different when it comes to re, uh, recondition it, so uh, look out for it in future.